Well, hello, Mr. Marston. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Did you meet my father? John Marston, this is my father, Drew McFarland. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Marston. Please. So, my daughter informs me that you're here on some secret mission to remove some undesirables from the county. Something like that. I'm grateful for the hospitality, sir. Well, you know, we've lived here for 30 years now. Came here from the east. The land had never been settled. For 10 years, we fought the Indians. Tough men. And we had outlaws. And we had drought. We had smallpox. Terrible winters in Colorado. I'm very more of my children than I raised. Uh -huh. Sorry to hear that, sir. I've seen strong men winter and die under that unforgiving sun. That whole herd of cattle take sick and die. But I've never once doubted my life here. No, sir. When I hear about this so-called federal government life. sending out agents to covertly murder and control people, then I start to worry. I mean, yeah, all right, Williamson is a menace, and men like him are the plague. But isn't a government agent a worse menace? And all that symbolizes to me. You may be right, sir. Well, you're a brave man. You're always going to be welcome here. Yay! But you tell your friends out east that we don't want to live like that out here. It's sneaking around and spying and secret. Preposterous. Trust me, sir. I agree with you. Good. Well, we won't insult you any further. Come on, Bonnie. We got things to do. Mr. Marston, do you want to join us? It's Daddy's favorite pastime. Apart from political discourse, that is. What is? Breaking in horses. <gasps> Come on. I hear you're a pretty decent rider. I need to break horses. City dweller, that is. <laughs> Wahoo! I get to break a horsey. Ooh! You're gonna need this, Mr. Marston. And I get a lasso. Sweet. Right, now you got some rope horsey, on horsey, your horsey, 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 horsey. Hi! Let's go, people. You sure have some interesting theories on what the government's doing, sir. They ain't theories, Mr. Marston. I saw the telegram Marshall got from Blackwater. It ain't exactly a state secret and sent you. Well, is he wrong? I saw those men from the train. The government can go to hell if you ask me. Those sons of bitches that steal a coin off a dead man's eye. Mm. Mr. Marston! He's right. Now, I don't know much about politics. Please, Paul, can we just enjoy but the ride? I know ride? we're only as free as they say we are. Power's like a drink. The more you have, the more you want. There's few men who can handle it. There's certain things in this country a woman could do much better if you ask me. I ain't gonna argue with that, Miss McFarland. <laughs> and you shouldn't. This John Marston is a very smart character for not fighting with a woman. <laughs> there they are! Horses! Come on, horses! Horses! Come on! Let's rope one! Uh, uh, you gotta use that okay. rope or not? I'm trying to, dude. That's you it. got one! Okay. Yeah. 
Hello, Bonnie. Where are you at? Come on, then. Let's see if you can get another one. Horsey, 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 horsey. I want... That one. <laughs> he says some funny things. So you, you hold on to the mane when you're trying to break a horse? I think that I hurt him, but whatever. That's it. Yay! You're a regular Bronco Buster. Oh, yes, sir. Okay. I like your father. I'm glad. He's quite a character. You have a good life here. A life I want. For me and my family, I mean. We don't have a lot anymore. You have enough. It's one that gets so many folks in trouble. It'll sap your spirit and make it poor. But it's straight. And it's decent. There's no better night's sleep than after an honest day's work. It's no wonder you look so tired, then. Oh, so wow. that must be shy of Joker, Miss McFarland. Whoa there. Who would have thought you'd be such a natural in busting Broncos? That was Me. Fun. I think you could be a fine rancher one day. Oh, yes. If you can bear to stop killing people for a living. Sure. Oh, no, of course not. I can't stop killing yeah. people. Killing people is the best thing. <laughs> I got a pretty person. Look at that one I broke into the pretty pretty pretty. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, fine, I'll get on this side. Being stupid. Alright. Let's get that one, let's I like this game. It's so pretty. Well done, Mr. Marston. These are fine horses. Hey, Bonnie. Amos was saying some horses have been spotted somewhere outside of Armadillo. Ooh. Let's go, Mr. Marston. We can really do with those horses. Sweet. Let's go, let's go. Come on, Mr. Bye. Marston. Let's head for Armadillo. I didn't say to get off go. the horse. <laughs> Tell me why you were never married. Aside from the snobbery, that is. You sure ask a lot. I'm just surprised, that's all. You must have been quite a catch. The fact that you're talking in the past says it all. No, <laughs> that's not what I mean. You must have had some suitors, that's all I'm saying. Some, I suppose. Here and there. A ranch in the middle of Hennigan's stead ain't really the place to find a husband. Amos, he's a little, well, you know, countryfied. Where'd you get your airs and graces, Miss McFarland? From a couple of cheap governesses, tall hearts, saving for me and savages. In many ways, my wife is kind of like you, Miss McFarland. Is that so? She's always been a woman in a man's world. You don't talk about her very much. It's kind of painful, but she's never far from my thoughts. How'd you meet her? She was an orphan, too. Fell in the same bunch of reprobates I did. She did what she had to do to survive. Same as I did. You can't wallow with the pigs without getting a little dirty. But she's a good woman. A strong woman. That gang was the closest thing to family she ever had. Well, uh -huh. now she has her own family. Not right now, she doesn't. There's my boys. Come on, Mr. Marston. Well, he seems like a very loyal husband. 